Welcome to D&D at 6, I'm your host, Monty Kaur, and tonight we have the complete coverage of the latest controversy that is sweeping the D&D community. Our on-scene reporter, Dip Dugan, recently went undercover at WotC headquarters and unveiled something startling. Wizards of the Coast may be banning dungeon masters from using D&D Beyond. Dip, what do you have for us? Yes, well, let's just say my ex-wife was not so pleased to hear that. <laughs> yes, I still signed the papers. But it, what? Oh, uh, yes, Monty, that's right. I spent two weeks undercover as an intern named Gary. And the bottom line is that Wizards of the Coast executives now see Dungeon Masters as obstacles to growing the D&D brand. Fascinating. But didn't Watsi recently state that some 80% of sales comes from Dungeon Masters? Yes, Monty, that is correct. However, in an employee fireside chat that Cletus Von Boulette and I infiltrated while undercover, one of these executives revealed to us that Watsi's plan to monetize the Dungeons & Dragons brand goes even deeper. That is absolutely incredible, though I must admit rather hard to believe. Surely you have proof. I do, Monty, and it's all on video. The bottom line is that dungeon masters are gatekeepers to maximum monetization. As long as having a DM is a requirement to playing Dungeons and Dragons, we are limiting the number of money that we can acquire. The truth of the matter is that Dungeon Masters are a fundamental flaw in Dungeons and Dragons. The future lies in removing that flaw, opening to monetizing players to the fullest extent possible. To that end, the D&D development team will institute a complete ban on DMs, effective next Monday. And the new AI Dungeon Master will be rolled out in all of its glory. From that day forward, a lack of people willing to be Dungeon Masters shall no longer stop us from extracting $30 a month tax from those who wish to play D&D. <laughs> Welcome to the new evolution of Dungeons and Dragons and money! All their money will belong to us. <laughs> Incredible, Dip. I wonder what their official statement will say regarding why they're making this move. Well, Monty, Cletus and I were actually able to get a draft copy of that statement. And? Well, according to the draft, it appears that Dungeon Masters are frequently responsible for <clears throat> harmful, discriminatory, illegal, obscene, and harassing conduct. Now, we have all been in games with bad dungeon masters, but surely a few bad apples can't be used to justify removing all dungeon masters. Well, Monty, one would like to think that, but sadly, it doesn't appear to be the case. Well, there you have it, folks. Dungeon Masters appear to be a thing of the past. Now, if you'd like to learn more about the artificial intelligence Dungeon Master that Watsi is rolling out, watch this video right here over on Peak D&D's channel. I'm Monty Core, and this has been D&D at 6.